hi you guys thank you so much for clicking on my video and joining me for the second part of our bible study on the book of enoch this is going to be a long series y'all <laughs> so buckle up your seat belts and get ready today we're going to go over chapter two and yeah so let's get into it oh Thank you, thank you, thank you to every single person who has subscribed. I love you guys to bits and pieces, okay? So, um, if you did not catch the first video, be sure to go back and watch that video first. So, you can go in order, girl. So, let's get into it. Um, Y'all know I'm going to read the chapter first, and then I'm going to go over my notes. <sighs> Observe ye everything that takes place in the heaven how they do not change their orbits and the luminaries which are in heaven, how they all rise and set in order each in its, in its season and transgress not against their appointed order. Behold ye the earth and give he, ye... Lord, I cast away whatever spirit is trying to just stumble me upon my words in Jesus' name. Amen. Behold ye earth and give heed to the things which take place upon it from first to last, how steadfast they are, how none of the things upon earth change, but all the works of God appear to you. Behold the summer and the winter, how the whole earth is filled with water and clouds and dew and rain lie upon it. Okay, so that is the second chapter. And my notes say, everything in heaven has a place. And they don't change orbits. They rise and set in order with the seasons. They all have order. And I feel like with this chapter, what Enoch is saying that everything has a time and a place. Everything has its own appointed order. Okay. So when we look up at the stars, they are always shown in their order. As we know, our ancestors used to use the stars as a map. So if they can use the stars as a map shown in the story of Jesus when Jesus was born and the three kings followed the star directly to Jesus, the stars can be used as a map if you did not know. Um, everything in heaven has its order. It does exactly what it is supposed to do when it is supposed to do it. As the earth has its order, the seasons come in the way that they are supposed to. However, you know, we are in a time where things are changing. And um, when things start to change, there is a reason. I think we're actually going to come into this soon. But anyways... Um, the changing of the seasons, the way that we are unable to tell what season we are in, it is starting to be very noticeable to many people that the seasons are out of order, which means that other things on earth are starting to be out of order. And this is the reason that God is going to have to come down here and fix everything because things are completely out of whack, okay? So <laughs> that is it for this show. I'm laughing because I'm looking, it's like three minutes or something, but that's it for this chapter, y'all. I can't force the videos to be longer. I'm sorry. Okay. I love y'all dearly. Thank you so much for checking out the second chapter of the book of Enoch with me. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.